Welcome back, Acron fans, to another exhibition match. This time we're going to be on Cataclysm Ridge with... It's going to be between Kitan and Vicar... Kitan and Vicarin. It's a... Not a new map. The name is new, but it should look familiar. It's Hills. I just didn't really like the name Hills, so I call it Cataclysm Ridge, because Hills really isn't that descriptive. When you think about it, it's... It's not even hills, it's it's cliffs, it's ridges, it, it's... It's not hills. Not by any stretch. So it is no longer called hills. And in case you're wondering, these cliffs are actually about... They're taller than an octopod. I mean, we see that the Guardian come down here. We'll see that it actually is much taller than it. So yeah, it's taller than an octopod. It's probably taller than an octoligo. These are not just little hills. They are quite tall. You, it's hard to notice just from this angle, that's the only thing. Anyway, Vikarin is going CISO, Kitan going Grekim. And Kitan, let's see here, he is... He is going Grekim, he's getting his economy set up. Vikarin is going CISO as well, getting his three or, four LCRPs. So, obvious change, this ramp's gone. Another... Actually, that's about the only real change. There were a couple other small changes, like... Mostly just dealing with this ramp. I mean, that's that was the main issue was that this ramp allowed for a really quick path from one main base all the way down to the other main base. But now you get one main base all the way down and up and then around again because the pathfinding speed got like pathfinding became faster. So I could actually increase pathfinding strength enough to make this feasible. And here comes Guardian coming in with so Kitan's Guardian just walking through the base and getting out again, whereas. It's a Nocturne for... Vikran just hiding his Akron completely, not even trying to scout with it, just hiding it off in the corner of the map. So, Kitan clearly has played the Assassin mode a bit more often than Vikran has, because it is generally considered standard practice just to scout with your Akron. Granted, as far as it goes... See, that was one move. That was one move order from all the way from his base, all the way to Vikran's base. But I digress. The important thing is that Akrons are, like I said, in two games ago, pretty much only useful for scouting. That's the only thing they can actually do. Not dying is merely something they don't do. Not the same thing. So they they scout well enough. Whereas putting it off in a corner like this is kind of useless when it comes to scouting purposes. And dropping down a factory, we see that Vikran actually is going to be using this as a proxy point. Not at all surprising, but... A little odd that he put his Akron there. I mean, I guess because he doesn't want his opponent to realize where his Akron is, but if his opponent finds the proxy, then his opponent finds his Akron, and his Akron is cornered. It only has like, a couple ways out. One of them into Kitan's base. The other one can be pretty easily blocked. Actually, I think this ramp... Yes, this is the other change. This ramp here got removed, as far as I can tell. Sorry, I changed this map a while ago. So I'm trying to remember exactly what the modifications were. But yeah, basically this ramp got removed as well. So... The only way up here is around, and that means, of course, the only way to block this is here. Because the other the other path just leads right into Kitan's base. So Kitan could just go up here if he wants to, if he knew about this attack. Or could go around, or could go both sides, and the Akron simply cannot escape if he goes around both sides. However, Kitan not really building up too many units yet, focusing more on economy. He has his Akron coming back from its scouting mission, and he has... What else does he have going on around here? Not much. He has jumped back to the 49 second mark for his Akron scouting mission beginning. And 337 mark, we see that Vikarin is trying to stop his Akron coming into the base. Not succeeding, but he is going back to harass. The special op, however, will be torn apart by the Octopod here. Where's that? Yeah. Special op behind a tree will be torn apart by the Octopod. And that would... That'll be it. So, that is the scouting stage of the game. However, unfortunately for Kitan, he did not find Vikran's proxy. He did find that Vikran didn't have a lot of stuff in his main base, especially for the economy. But he did not find the proxy, and this is very important. Because in not finding the proxy, he has basically not so much shot himself in the foot, but he has certainly made it harder for himself to actually do anything useful. Because that proxy is going to be tearing him apart very shortly. And... Nope, mech coming in, so still no real indication for Kitan what has gone on right now. Let's see, Kitan is... He's still patrolling around his main base. He's at the 314 mark. He's actually two minutes down from Vikarin. Vikarin at the 526 mark. He's building up Mar tanks, of course. I 
Could have guessed. Martank's always the favorite. Oh yeah, I did change this. So yeah, this is no longer a ramp. I probably should retexture that. But anyway, that is not a ramp. It doesn't matter though. Units can still find their way around just fine, but yeah, just worth noting. Anyway, Vikarin is deciding, forget that, not going to go down to the natural expansion, see nothing there. Go straight to the main. So Martang is going through here, through this path, into the main, and that will be very damaging. The Octopod here won't be able to take care of the Martank. I'm pretty sure Octopod is losing against Martanks for cost. I'm trying to remember offhand. I know Zion Pulsers will lose against them for cost. Don't remember exactly about Martanks, though. I think Martanks do win. Special Ops, however, of course, do not. Special Ops are... Actually, maybe for cost they do. I haven't tried for cost. But they don't win one-on-one, -on -one, that's for sure. See that very clearly. That's why Octopods are so popular for defense, because they are great at rush defense in the early infantry units that come in, and a lot of the early vehicles that come in for at least Vecure and CISO as well. Early ATHCs are held at bay pretty well by Octopods. So yeah, it's a very effective strategy that's often used, but what... Where is this? So Kitan has... Let's see, we have... Vikarin's Mar tank coming in, Mech coming in. Let's see, Kitan has not much else to worry about, but... Titan's also two minutes down from here before the Martanks even start to come in. So Vikram, we see it the Martank attack. Martank assault starting, but not much else. And actually, right in this exact time is a pretty poor time. Because the Octopod is able to get a lot of free hits on the Martank, because the Martank focusing on this resource processor that looks like Vikram might be retiming the attack to try to avoid this entirely. Kitan, on the other hand, focusing on tech, focusing on economy, not worried at all about that Martank. Just relying on his Octopod to deal with that, and Right now, it looks like it's a good plan. I'm not fully sure, though. Like I said, Vikarin did actually mistime that. But he has, he is retiming that attack, waiting both Martanks up. Not getting ground units. He's not merging the Martanks. Not getting a Twin Mar from that. I'm not sure I support that idea. Twin Mars I like. That might not have been a bad idea to do. But yeah, he is going for that, and that's what he's going to do. Two Martanks coming in from here, and this is a different timing. But still a timing where the Octopod will be able to get free hits on the Martanks for being just out of their range. And Kitan is, let's see, where is his tech? His tech is advanced structures, that's it. He has a spire up, he has a pod coming up. He will not really have much threat from the Martank. However, Vikarin is moving these Martanks into position well enough so they can actually take care of the Octopod so that they don't get killed for free. This is really tight. This actually is gonna be rather difficult. This pod here is the main hope for Kitan is Octopod will be able to deal some damage. There is no healing going on other than that, but this Reef is... Well, okay, it's using up energy to heal up, but it's not actually that much in position to heal up. So that Octopod taking quite a bit of damage, but the Semipod able to get rid of one of the Martanks. Another Martank, however, coming down from the factory and another pair in production. Well, another one in production. We see it coming down as well. Octopod coming in to try to get some free hits and... This Reef is using up a lot of energy, because like I said, it's now 16 energy to heal up. So this Octopod is able to heal up enough to deal with the Martanks, but that's going to drain that Reef pretty well. Well, the Octopod taking the hits for it, and the Octopod, sorry, Octopod taking the hits for the Octopod. The Octopod taking care of one of the Martanks, the other Martank, however, being supported by a Mech, but the Mech going down before it can kill off the Pod. Not enough Mechs to get rid of it. That's... Second Martank, however, will be able to take care of the Octopod. But both players re the battle, because this battle is very tense, very important. And it looks like neither player getting any ground unit, or Vikram not getting ground units, not playing getting any additional tech, however, machinery allowing for a defense turret to be set up, which will get rid of that Sebi Pod without much issue. That's going to be a big problem. That Sebi Pod, if that goes down, that's going to be pretty much... Well, that's gonna be, that would have been the game, but no, the Sibi Pod is staying up, and that mech's going down instead. So, the Octopod Pod being destroyed, but another Sibi Pod coming up to help defending us the Martanks. Martanks having no anti-air attack means it's completely not distracted getting rid of these RPs, but it is still taking damage from the Sibi Pod. Where, there is no anti-air support coming in, and no merging as well, so... Defense are being built further in the back, trying to avoid getting killed. And Vikarin deciding to retreat his forces instead of keeping them up front, so he is trying to position himself further away, just far away enough that the Reef cannot heal up, because Kitan did not have a complete bubble wrap. His bubble wrap is incomplete. 
That is worth noting. His bubble wrap is not actually a complete one. Which means that he is going to have still some trouble dealing with this. And the defense turret goes up. The defense turret looks like it will be going up with the past edge. And that will take care of the Zephy Pod. The Pod is out. That is going to be painful. That Zephy Pod is completely destroyed. Another defense turret going up. And Kain getting overwhelmed. Having tried to push back a flood. But it's done. It is done. There's nothing he can do from here. Vikarin tearing everything he has to shreds with the proxy defense turrets. And I've seen that happen a long time ago on Remnant Springs. I remember playing, seeing a game like that. I think I might have played it. But yeah, that that was unexpected. And no, kind of in case you're wondering, it's not like Reckham is useless, is that Vic proxies are deadly. Also, focusing heavily on economy on a map that is always favored rush strategies is typically not wise. Like, three or four octopods instead of having the semipod and the tech probably would have been a better option. Hard to say. Would like to see that, but yeah, it's... That is game. So I think that was the... I think it was the game that actually made Vicarin frustrated... Or sorry, Kitan frustrated enough with Grekum to start playing Vekir instead and see how it works from the other side. So, that was interesting. At least you got to see what happened in order to spur that change of heart about his favorite race. Or favorite species, rather. And other than that, that's about it for this game. So, I hope you enjoyed that. And that's it for me tonight. So, just... Hope you enjoy the games, and other than that, have a good night, everybody.